Come and join my husband and I on our honeymoon on this epic next stop of our Italian adventure. We explore the Amalfi Coast or La Costiera Amalfitana. From Sorrento, Amalfi, Positano, Ravello, Minori, and Maiori. This is truly the only Amalfi Coast vlog you'll need. It is truly epic and we had the most incredible time. So come and join us, especially if you love food and travel. If you watched our previous vlog, you'll have seen that we left beautiful Sicily and we headed for Napoli. So we arrived in the Napoli airport and we made our first stop in Sorrento for literally 12 hours. So we are staying at a and b not even an Airbnb, but an actual b and b in Sorrento. Our cute little room, sorry for all the junk that we have. Bathroom. <laughs> Just washing my hands. Just washing Not doing hands. anything else. <laughs> and then we have a nice little balcony here. There we go, so cute actually. So because we are not here for long, we really wanted to explore the town before we had a delicious dinner. It's about eight o'clock in the evening. We are on Corso Italia in Sorrento. We are walking to our restaurant and along the way, I want to show Nikita a few beautiful things to see in Sorrento. We don't have very long, as I said, but hopefully he'll have a little taste of Sorrento before we head over to the Amalfi Coast. So let's go. And the restaurant we're going to is called Casa Tua. I just booked it in the shuttle on the way here, the cab. She hacked away. <laughs> As you can see, there are gorgeous views to be found all over Sorrento. And contrary to popular belief, Sorrento is not actually a part of the Amalfi Coast. They are separate entities, but it is very easy to access many spots along the Amalfi Coast. Capri is super close to Sorrento. Positano is quite close as well. But if you are planning on an Amalfi Coast holiday, I do recommend to stay in Amalfi rather than Sorrento. However, Sorrento, as you can see, is beautiful and has its own charm. We did a little fast forwarded street view, walking the old streets, looking at the cute shops, and there's a lot of Napoli symbols to be found, and that is because they won the Serie A title, or the Scudetto, so they are football champions. Hello, we are at this restaurant called Casa Tua, as I said, and it looks really nice. The plates are so cool. It's such a cool vibe, and we got to sit outside, which is so nice. It's like the perfect weather. I'm so excited, enjoying myself. And we are doing a tasting menu. So for 45 euros a person, you can get a tasting menu with um, alcohol as well, but Nikita just wanted a whole bottle of wine. And I'm not a big drinker, so he'll probably be finishing all the wine. I'm just cheersing along with him, but for 45 euros a person, we have I think four starters, two of which are fish, there might be a vegetarian option, etc. I'm sure you're going to see the whole meal as we go, but I'm really excited. This is a new place for me, a new place completely for Nikita, so we're really excited. Every place is completely new for me. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Cheers. We highly recommend this tasting menu. It was incredible, especially if you love seafood and you have an adventurous palate, but they are very accommodating. So they did accommodate any requests or allergy restrictions that you might have. I, for example, requested not to have any octopus because of the film, My Octopus Teacher. And Nikita said that this pasta that you're going to see pretty soon is one of the best pastas he's ever had. So we highly recommend this place. Zucchini flowers, looks like it. I'm excited. Oh my god. Mm. So good. Okay. 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 It's so tasty. It smells. It smells like the, the bottom of the ocean. Ah. Oh, that's Yes, 
Everything was incredible, even this dessert, the Delizia Limone. You'll be seeing us eat a lot of these Delizia Limones, especially in the Amalfi Coast. We are getting a gelato from this place called Bougainvillea. I feel like my sisters and I got this on our first ever trip to Sorrento in 2010. And ever since we've been back, it's kind of been a tradition. So now it's Nikita's turn. And I have chocolate orange, you wanna try? called the Jesus tree because it looks so old like at the time of Jesus. You can see how cool the roots are and every time I come to Sorrento I'd always take a picture by this tree so I'm going to take a quick picture. Now it's blocked off so you can't go right on it but I was sitting on this tree a few years ago. Good morning! It is our basically travel day from Sorrento. We are leaving and we are going to Amalfi of the Amalfi Coast. And we are very excited, but we had about an hour in the morning so I can show Nikita around Sorrento really quickly. It's beautiful, there's gorgeous panoramas, gorgeous views, and we're just getting in just a little quick taste of Sorrento before we leave. We don't have much time here. This was really our little stop hub so we can actually just sleep and not travel so long into the night basically <laughs> and we didn't have to take the ferry at like eight o'clock nine o'clock in the evening etc so we just made the most of our time here and we had an incredible dinner last night i highly recommend that place it was so good do the tasting menu if you love fish it was amazing and look where we are we have this beautiful view <laughs> hello uh, <laughs> very right nice right across from yeah Whoa. Monopoly, yeah, it's right there. Wow, look at, look at the birds, huh? Really cool. yep. One thing I've always really loved about Sorrento are the orange trees everywhere. You see them lining the streets and it is so beautiful and quaint. We were very sad to say goodbye to Sorrento. It was an incredible stop, but we were ready for our Amalfi Coast journey and our stay is in Amalfi. We just arrived in Amalfi. Look at how sweaty I am. Nikita jumped right in the shower. Poor guy, he carried our two luggages up, I think 200 stairs. The guy at the Airbnb carried them like a halfway up. To help them, it's a lot, but honestly, are all these stairs worth it? Let's see, because we have a lot of views to show you. Here's view number one. This view is from the basically just little lounge area. Now let's go to view number two. From the kitchen area, little table, cute. View number two, probably the coolest or one of the coolest views. You can seriously see all of Amalfi from the kitchen window. This view is incredible. And now let's go to view number three. Nikita's in the bathroom showering, so I can't show you. View number three. Well, there's also more views in this bedroom, <laughs> but it's similar to the other one that I just showed you. Ta-da! And this is our bedroom for the trip, sorry for the shaky footage right now. Ta-da! This view is pretty insane. So, here we are. We just came straight from Sorrento. Don't ask me why the heck I thought it was a good idea to shower today. It wasn't, I'm sweating. At the very least, I'll definitely do a bidet. I have a feeling I'll be sweating throughout the day as well anyway. The one thing I love about Italy are bidets, so if you know, you know, but we are excited to be in the Amalfi Coast. I haven't been here since 2017 and Nikita has never been here. I'm so excited to show me Amalfi Coast. Of course, we just saw Sorrento, which was beautiful, but that was like a very brief stop. We're in Amalfi for four nights, so this is night number one. And then after, on the fourth, after the fourth night on the next day, we're going to stay for just one night in 
minori, minori maiori, so we're going to stay there as well. Forgive me, I don't know why I'm doing all this talking when I look absolutely horrible, but the next time I see you, hopefully I'll look better. And the final view, we have a little terrace area, so all this is for us, right before we go into our Airbnb, and this is the stunning view. Honestly, this is like paradise. Ta-da! I told you I would look a little bit better. <laughs> and here we are. We are about to go explore. Maybe we are going to get a lunch if we can walk in and grab one. I otherwise, hope so. Otherwise street food, but we'll see. It would be nice to sit down and relax. I'd like some pizza. How I is have... that walk up this hill, babe? Yeah, uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Buongiorno, or should I say bon pomeriggio. It's the afternoon. It is right now. Three o'clock actually, so it's three o'clock. This is our first meal of the day. We never even had breakfast today because we were just go, go, go ever since Sorrento. So we're here in Amalfi of the Amalfi Coast. You saw our beautiful Airbnb with the incredible views. Now we're having views dining under like a lemon garden at this pizzeria Donna Stella. I came here with Jules like years ago, but I've never come during the day where you can really see how beautiful the lemons are. And I tried to call and make rezzles, but they weren't answering the phone. So we just decided to walk in. It's an hour before closing and they had a table for two. Lucky us. So we're here dining and we have some delicious pizzas. I had the Teddy. Well, me and Nikita are going to share. I got the Teddy and he got the pizza of the day, which is mozzarella, a burrata and some lemon zest. When you're in the Amalfi Coast, you have to have the lemons. They're gigantic, they're huge and delicious. So I'm so excited, excited to start day one of the Amalfi Coast. Hello. Let's do a little cheers. Let's do. Cheers, sweetie. Cheers. This pizzeria is as beautiful as it is absolutely delicious. We cannot recommend it enough. And Nikita and I are not ones to go to a certain restaurant twice. And we do that on this trip. But I highly recommend these pizzas, especially this one, the Teddy. Oh my gosh, I dream about it. So this is the Teddy pizza. It looks so delicious. Oh my gosh, so fresh, so good. And you have the pizza of the day, which is mozzarella, a burrata ball, and some grated lemon zest on top. We're of course sharing, so technically they're both of ours, but it looks so good. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Heaven, guys. <laughs> like, this is seriously incredible pizza. So it's not like you're coming here just for the views, which are spectacular to be dining under a lemon tree. But this pizza is like some of the best pizza that you can personally get in the Amalfi Coast. I'm in heaven. Heaven. See, so delicious. Highly recommend it. Are you enjoying yourself? I love this. Delicious? Yes. Under the lemon tree, lemon pizza, lemon spritz. Nice, nice good drink. Delicious. And uh, just freshly made pizza. <laughs> wow. With that burrata and lemon, oh my gosh, heavenly. Heavenly. Look at this, look, look, look. Oh my gosh, look at that burrata. You want it? We're gonna, no, don't worry. You want it? Don't worry. We're gonna be so jealous when we're home of ourselves. <laughs> mm. We picked up some pastries from Andrea Panza here in Amalfi. Nikita has his wine. Doing some research, it seems like. And we have basically, similar to this foliatella, this is like more of a lobster tail. <laughs> and this is the baba, ubaba, with whipped cream, because that's the one that I wanted. Let's pop that on top for Nikita. So he has a little strawberry. Mmm, delicious. With the view. I made him come outside to enjoy the view. <laughs> Leave the air conditioning behind for just a second. Delish? Mm-hmm. Mm, looks actually really good. Creamy. Mmm, mmm, lemony cream. <laughs> <laughs> so yummy. Mmm. And this just looks delicious. Bon appetit. We are having a gelato from Andrea Panza. The same sort of pasticceria there. This is the ice cream place now. 
It looks so good. I have this ricotta stregata flavor and crema de la nonna, which is like lemon. And you have my favorite flavors. Nocciola and pistachio. You like it? It's really delicious. It just melts so fast, so to do a video... Good luck. So basically we were so excited to be here and we're just essentially eating non-stop today as you'll see from gelato to this incredible granita limone. Oh my gosh, I remember this guy. He is such a great guy. The same guy, he has this tramonti cart and he goes all around the islands with this granita. This granita is like literally the best granita ever. And this is what I was talking to you about today where you'll find pieces of the lemon peel in it. I can't wait to have it so let's eat. Take yours so I can eat mine. <laughs> Okay. And it is like, this is the best lemon granita ever, like ever. Mm. Unreal. Okay, I want you to enjoy. <laughs> so what you don't see is that this granita limone was so good, we ended up going back twice for more. Ugh just one in the Amalfi Coast. Get anything with lemons, granita limone, limoncello, delizia limone, anything with lemons and you're welcome. But we had such an incredible first night. Say hi. Hello, we are walking on this pier area and we have a stunning view, but I feel like we're spoiled with our Airbnb because we have stunning view, like 365, a view of this, a view of that, a view of the Duomo. We have incredible views. We lucked out, so I have to say, it was worth the 200 stairs up for me. Maybe Nikita, I don't know, because he had the suitcases, but for me it was worth the flights of steps. But I feel exhausted. I feel like I look exhausted. We've been up since like 6 a.m., trekking it with our luggage in Sorrento, then trekking it with our luggage in Amal. Like, we're just really tired. We ate so well today. We had such an incredible day, but we're exhausted. I have a headache. I was not gonna tell everyone that you bumped into a thing. I know. <laughs> There's this cute little characteristic fountain in the Amalfi Coast. As you can see, it has all these little people and little donkeys. And this is actually called La Fontana dei Capi e Ciucci. And Ciucci means donkeys in Italian. And it is very cute and characteristic. But that is all for that night. Then we woke up early the next morning. We didn't even have breakfast because we had plans to head to Positano. We ended up taking the ferry to Positano because Amalfi to Positano, highly recommended taking the ferry, especially when you can. Often when you take the bus anywhere, especially if it's pretty long of a distance, you might have a little bit of traffic on the road and it is just not worth it. Look at these views from the ferry guys, highly recommended. Positano! We left Amalfi for Positano for the day. I'm wearing a dress that I bought in Taormina and we're ready to explore. So as you can tell from these trick shots Nikita's doing, we had brought our gimbal with us, which is our camera stabilizer for more stable footage. I hope that didn't make you too dizzy, but Positano is so beautiful when looking up. You can see these gorgeous flowers. And from this point on, I had one place in mind for breakfast. Buongiorno! We are having our Italian breakfast in Positano with cappuccini, an extra espresso for Nikita, delizia limone, torta di zagara with mandarin and chocolate, and sfogliatella. I'm a food snob, guys. I promise you, I usually don't go to places that are less than a four star, but this cafe in particular, I make an exception for because it is incredible. I wouldn't necessarily recommend having a meal here, but having your breakfast, a cappuccino, a dessert, midday, any day, it is just absolutely incredible. So we highly recommend that. Then we walked around Positano. We plan to just walk around, take in the views, take in the shops, and of course have a delicious meal because we are foodies. We are in Positano. Ooh, it's so beautiful here. We had a delicious breakfast at La Zagara. Very yummy. Now we're just walking around and enjoying. Yes. I'm going into the stores for air conditioning. We're trying to. <laughs> Love you, sweetie. Love you too. Mm. So happy to be here with Nikita, his first time in Posigiano. Stunning. Stunning. And I'm so happy for us to be here together as husband and wife. Aww. We're roaming the streets of Positano. It was a good view everywhere. <laughs> 
Sorry for the PDA, but we are on our honeymoon after all, and look at these incredibly romantic views. I mean, I couldn't help myself. It is just stunning here. Positano is definitely one of the more touristic, but also more beautiful and scenic spots of the Amalfi Coast, so I highly recommend visiting at least for the day. We're here, we climbed, I think, like 500 steps, maybe 300. <laughs> A lot of steps to get here, but the view is worth it. We are at this restaurant called Il Tridente. It's in the hotel. Poseidon, I think, and we're having a beautiful lunch in Positano. It is the thing to do. It's so hot right now at 1.30, so we're in the shade with a gorgeous view, and we're going to have some nice pasta and also a caprese salad to start because mozzarella di bufala is really good in this region of Italy. So, buon appetito! <laughs> I wasn't kidding, we climbed a lot of steps to get here. I think there is actually an easier way and you can take like the sort of um, roadway <laughs> where cars go, <laughs> but you live and you learn. There's a lot of stairs in and around the Amalfi Coast, particularly in Positano as well. But look, the views and the food was absolutely worth it. When you're in the Amalfi Coast, in the Campania region is basically the home of mozzarella di bufala. So look at what we had. <laughs> Spaghetti alle vongole, and you have pakiri with monkfish, I believe, and some other assorted clams, and it looks delicious. The food looks good, the view looks even better. Should I break into it? Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh my goodness. Cream. Lemon cream. Mm. I think this is the best one yet. Wow. This meal was delicious, but honestly, the highlight was this Delizia Limone for me. It was truly the best one that I've had in the Amalfi Coast. I will say it was absolutely incredible. And at the end of my trip, I'm going to have one where they created the Delizia Limone. So from the creator of it, and this was really up there as the most delicious Delizia Limone. So if you're a dessert person, highly recommended. And just so you know, a Delizia Limone is essentially a lemony sponge cake with whipped cream. It is just so good. So we had a relaxing time, we enjoyed our meal, and then when it came time to exploring more of Positano, because it was so hot, we checked out a few art galleries. All jokes aside about air conditioning and forgive this little Alice in Wonderland montage, but we had such an incredible day in Positano. We have sfogliatella flavor and something with al sud. They're really delicious. Highly recommend. Very good. So we are ending our Positano vlog. We had an incredible day. We came here by ferry from Amalfi and now we are leaving by ferry to go back to Amalfi. What did they say about the buses? That there was some traffic? Yeah, there's traffic. It seems like there's a buildup that just doesn't go away for hours. So if you can avoid taking any sort of uh, cars, buses, or whatever. How do. much was the ferry ticket? Sorry. Ten, ten euros. Both both ways or? No, one. So one ten, way per person, okay. ten euro one. So I see why people would want to take the yeah. bus. It's less expensive, but I feel like just take the ferry. It's a nice experience too to be on the water. And it's beautiful. And it's beautiful. Yeah. At least one of the ways, yeah. you know? So yeah, thank you so much for watching the Positano one. We will continue our adventure tomorrow. We are here in the Amalfi Coast for a while. Hopefully we are going to do Ravello tomorrow. Yep. So follow along with us. Love you. Love you. Ciao. <laughs> Before coming to Positano and the Amalfi Coast, I remember watching a lot of TikToks warning not to come, it's so busy, and look, it is quite busy, especially now at the ferry station when people are getting the last few ferries out, but do not let fear stop you from having your best vacation. It is worth it, and we hardly noticed any crowds. So right after Positano, Nikita grabbed his dinner, a little snack, and this is... Oh my goodness. Wow, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy, Dilish. <laughs> And he got the Coppo Calamaro with rings of deep fried squid, squid legs, and calamaro shrimp. 
Bon appetit! I said if we find a stray cat, we have to feed it. And look, we found this little guy. And honestly, he looks like he could use the nutrition, the little angel. Wow, he really devoured that head in two seconds. I know. Nikita and his bleeding heart, he's literally giving him all the good pieces of fish too, not just the fish head. He gave him a nice calamari. Wow, he ate that calamari ring so fast. Oh my gosh, poor little angel. I'm from Positano. Nikita's enjoying a nice, delicious, warm sandwich. This is the shusha. Mm. Very mm. nice. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Love it. We also got a wine from these people there. are actually so nice. And the sandwich shop is just right downstairs. Our Airbnb. I took a picture of it, so I'm going to show you guys. See? It's literally right here. This is the list. <laughs> wow, you can actually see it. We have this shusha, I think that's how you say it, with crudo. The kino, I think. Um, arugula, lots of good delicious stuff. So, yeah. mm, I want a bite. You're gonna love it. Mm. Oh yeah, and sun-dried tomatoes, yes. Delicious. Mm. 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 Heavenly. <laughs> this view never gets old. Delicious. We are here at this pasticceria, Andrea Panza, and we're having breakfast. Yes, we are. <laughs> You're having a coffee because this is something that you need every morning. Yeah. Without which I cannot function. <laughs> so I have a cappuccino and so does Nikita right now, and we're just um, having a relaxing day in Amalfi. We are hoping to head to Ranavo later on. I have a ricotta and chocolate cake with a cappuccino and Nikita has what looks to be like a mille foie style cake with cappuccino. It looks very nice. Spoiler alert, this ricotta and chocolate cake or ricotta chocolato was so incredible, I have it again the next day. Another day, another sandwich, just waiting for a sandwich. <laughs> from this place, it's actually really delicious. Yummy! Yesterday we had the shusha and today we're getting the Mediterranean. Look at this baby. Arugula, sun-dried tomatoes, burrata and anchovies I believe, but it's so, anchovies are so good with burrata, I highly recommend enjoying it back in our Airbnb. We're just here for the day, delicious. Hello, we are currently in the Amalfi Coast of course, but we are heading to Ravello. To go to Ravello, we take the bus. It is about one euro-ish per person per way. So for about four euros and change, we are off to Ravello for the day. I decided to go a little bit later because I want to do Villa Cimbrone a little bit later. I think it closes at eight o'clock p.m. So I'd rather just do it in the evening when it's slightly cooler because it is like in the afternoon it is way too hot. So we just had a relaxing day in Amalfi today. Now we're going to Ravello. I'm wearing this pretty dress that I wanted to wear anywhere really, Ravello, Positano, what have you, but I had to do a little sewing here because it was just way too exposing. <laughs> so I saved it for today. Now let's go to the villa and Ravello. Hello. Hello, we have arrived in Ravello. The, Beautiful. The bus was like 20 minutes. Yeah, and I took so. a nice, nice nap. A nice nap. And now we're here ready to explore. <laughs> But first, probably a drink. Yeah, so I can wake up. But these views are iconic. Standing up? Yeah. Look. Whoa. Don't stop. The views don't stop. So honestly, I think Ravello is our favorite spot along the Amalfi Coast. Nikita and I particularly enjoyed ourselves so much so that we do come back here, but for a very special reason. But this was his first time visiting Ravello and it is truly incredible. It is set 365 meters above the sea, so you get these gorgeous views and this fresh air. It is unbelievably stunning. I highly recommend visiting Ravello when in the Amalfi Coast. 
And besides these gorgeous views, one of my favorite things about Italy is gelato. There's a gelateria everywhere you go. <laughs> Anywhere that says gelato artigianale is good because it means they make it there. And this is delish. I think I have pistachio and ricotta and peanut flavor. Oh, 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 Nikita's oh, oh. taking all my good Gracious. chunks. Mine. <laughs> Ciao. Enjoy. <laughs> Nikita's having a bellini. We just got a little bit of some mozzarella and tomatoes at Caprese. Try this view just for the day to hold us over. So I can't remember the name of this little bar or a cafe, but it was just right here, right where the gorgeous views are. That's where it is. I believe there's like four bars or restaurants in the main square. So just pick one, have a drink, have some delicious cheese or whatever your heart desires and enjoy. We were preparing for our visit to Villa Cimbrone, which you'll see in a second. It is my favorite villa, I think ever. And as you can see, it is sort of a trek to get to Villa Cimbrone. From the main square, it's only about a 10 minute walk, but it definitely does feel a little bit longer. However, these stunning views do help pass the time. You really feel like you're in paradise here in Ravello. It's so peaceful, it's so gorgeous, and I do highly recommend coming to Villa Cimbrone at around the time that we did. So I believe it does close at seven or eight. We came at five o'clock. Honestly, I hardly noticed any tourists around as you'll see in this vlog. It was, Fantastic, truly breathtaking, and an unforgettable experience. A rare moment alone here. Nobody's around. What a nice day to come. <laughs> In the peace and quiet. Yes. Standing here, huh? It is. So Villa Cimbrone is a historic villa in Ravello. I believe it costs anywhere from 8 to 10 euros to get in per person and it is absolutely worth it. It is dating from at least the 11th century and it is famous for its scenic Belvedere, the Terrazza dell'Infinito. A lot of films are featuring this villa, particularly Tenet, which is actually Nikita's, one of his favorite films, I should say, as he is a huge Christopher Nolan fan. But look at these views, it is so epic. It was very hard not to take such poser shots and footage, so please do forgive the vanity here. But we had the most incredible time exploring this villa. One thing that I did want to include here is the sound of the cicadas. You do notice them everywhere, but it just adds to that musical ambiance of Ravello. That's it. Oh, this is beautiful. Gorgeous. Do you have to say anything to say? How are the grounds? It's beautiful. Incredible, right? Yes. Breathtaking. Villa Cimbrone consists of the main building and around six hectares of historic park ground. It is considered one of the most important examples of the landscape, botany, and culture of England created in the Mediterranean era. Why England, you say? Well, its origins dating back to the 11th century. However, at the end of the 19th century, it was nearly abandoned and then later discovered by British noblemen and well-known educated Ernest William Beckett of Lord Grimthorpe, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The villa and the gardens were extensively renovated by this lord with the help of a certain Nicola Manzi from Ravello in the early 20th century. Villa Cimbrone's gardens are the result of a strong influence of classical literature and reinterpretation of the Roman villa. It is incredible and you will notice a lot of English writing along the villa. It was apparently coined the most beautiful place I have ever seen in all my travels. Speaking of the Terrazza del Infinito, which you can currently see now by Gore Vidal. So here is the Terrazza del Infinito, also known as the Terrace of Infinity, because it truly looks as though you're looking onto infinity forever. It is incredible. The views are epic and I just can't believe that someone actually lived here. Don't be scared. We 
we are at the top of Villa Cimbrone and this is the Terrazza dell'Infinito because this terrace looks like it goes on for infinity apparently and it is stunning, breathtaking. I know everything I probably say is stunning, beautiful, uh, uh, but like what other words can I say to describe the beauty of this villa? It's incredible. <laughs> He loves it. Yeah. And this is just as beautiful as I remember it. This is Nikita's first time. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Stunning. Stunning, right? Yeah. Beautiful. There were certain moments like this one where I really had to pinch myself to think, am I really here? And not even another person in sight. It really felt like we had this whole terrazza to ourselves. We were surrounded by the incomparable natural beauty, the incredible 18th century marble bus and this stunning view. Ravello, we love you. Loving it here. Hello. I recommend when you visit this villa, come later. We came at around five-ish. It's supposed to close at eight. Perfect timing. Hardly anyone is here. It's just so nice and it's fresh because we're elevated. It's beautiful. As you walk further on down, you'll see here the Temple of Bacchus. And this is a highly figurative temple, which was probably conceived by Lord Grimthorpe himself as the place where his memory could be preserved. His ashes were buried at the foot of the pedestal, which I didn't realize at the time, but I do now. Next, we happen to see this mother and her kittens, which I will explain a bit in a second to you. No, you can't put, you're gonna just dump it on her and scare her. It's okay, the gelato is good enough for now. I want the kittens to lick it. Don't worry, she's gonna feed them. Feed them They're like milk. on the end of this cliff. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at the other two. Oh my gosh, hi Angel. So we just saw those cats. We were looking down here and Nikita's like, I wonder about the wildlife. I'm like, I'm seeing something, I'm seeing kittens. We saw kittens, we went to the gelato bar, we bought them a gelato. I was like, do you have just like, vanilla like cream cream flavor so he gave us cream we set it down it was kind of hard to reach over the mother came licking the gelato all the kittens came to have the gelato oh my gosh my heart it was a really difficult area we even bought a cup of water we had to leave it a little bit on the ledge because we can't just drop it down we would scare them but the gelato we dropped down perfectly or nikita did so that was really good so they're eating the gelato the little crackers on there and then one of the guys who works at the bar told us that he knows that there's a cat there and they give them like crackers and food so i feel like they're well taken care of but we just wanted to be sure and this is a beautiful day stunning day we just love everything about it it's absolutely just scenic breathtaking the panorama just everywhere just the time of day too it's incredible so ciao from Ravello and Villa Cimbrone see you soon this is the grilled calamaro with some artichokes and a poached egg look at this view This is my raviolo. It even has some, yeah, it has some fish carpaccio on oh top. Oh Yeah. And this is your mausoliato with also seafood and mm, hmm. those little crunchy biscuits. Ooh. And to end, a nice tiramisu. It became dark as we're sitting here. Cheers. Yeah? Yeah? We had such an incredible, spontaneous, and romantic meal here. The tiramisu was so good that I do come back again for it. You'll see!
we caught that super nice concert in Amalfi right when we returned after Ravello and now we're back here for some more breakfast. Hello, we are back here having some nice cakes for breakfast, my ideal breakfast, cappuccino, cakes. This pasticceria right beside the Duomo is very popular. It has been around since 1830, and in my opinion, it does make some of the best pastries in the Amalfi Coast. We had some time to kill before we headed over to Ravello again, so we decided to walk over to the smallest town along the Amalfi Coast, which is Atrani. So the smallest town in all the of Italy. The smallest town in all of Italy. We walked right here, Atrani. It's so small that people think it belongs to Amalfi. But it doesn't. <laughs> Pretty cool. So we happened to catch this random firework display. It of course wasn't random, there was a reason for it. I couldn't quite remember the reason. Some of the townspeople did quite enjoy this and some said it was really breaking their balls to quote them. <laughs> the road. See the two ways to go there or there. Came We're back. back. We couldn't resist. We wanted pizza and only this place will do to be honest so I'm trying something new. It was so tempting to get the teddy again but I have the Chiara which looks really really delicious. Mmm this looks so yummy. And then Nikita has the Luisa. I'm sorry but I cannot dissect the olives for you. <laughs> no, no, enjoy. Because no. I don't like olives, but I'm going to really enjoy this. It looks beautiful. I think there's onions, cherry tomatoes, lard, etc. Yummy. I told you we just had to come back here for this delicious pizza. My only regret was not getting the teddy because it was truly an unforgettable pizza. Speaking of returning though. Good evening. We're, we're back. We are back. Not only back in Ravello, but back at this Ravello Osteria. It was so good. I honestly, we were here. We got here at seven o'clock. We can only be let in at 7.30 because we're going to see a concert. The Philharmonic Orchestra, right? Yeah. We're I so don't know excited. precisely, but. This is why we came back to Ravello. We love it here. And then I said, you know what? If we have half an hour, let's just be crazy and just get another tiramisu because it was so good. <laughs> the people probably are like, these people are nuts. But we said, just some drinks and the dessert, please. And they're letting us in here, so. Very nice. We're back for you. I'm gonna be jealous of myself pretty soon. Mm. How is it? Delish? Amazing. There's like cookies in there, and I'm pretty sure it's like a chestnut cream in between them. Oh my gosh, this is the most heavenly tiramisu ever. And this view, ta-da, cheers. <laughs> This is Lisa from the future, and I wasn't lying. I'm very jealous of myself right now. That was incredible. Nikita's paying the bill, and now we are going to the concert area. We're able to be led in half an hour early to, I think, tour the gardens of Villa Rufalo, and we have a beautiful concert. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're inside Villa Rufalo going to the concert. <laughs> Let's go. Ravello is known as the city of music and now I know why. They hold these incredible concerts here, I believe all summer long. We were lucky enough to be here on a weekend and catch one of these and it was one of the most incredible experiences of our lives. So 
that was just a little sneak peek of the very end of their show when they had a lot of fun. I highly recommend the Moontimer Philharmoniker Orchestra. They were incredible. Good morning. Today we are leaving Amalfi, but we are not leaving the Amalfi Coast. We have one day in Minori and Maiori. This Airbnb, they actually didn't have an extra day, so I had to book somewhere else. So back when I was in Canada, I was like, where do I want to go? And there's this pasticceria salpirisa that I've always wanted to try. So I was like, let's go to Minori and Maiori. I think we're gonna walk around the town before check-in because we're leaving early. And then I think we might even have a beach day there because they're supposed to have a nice beach area. If you'd like to follow along, stay tuned. But I'll miss this view. Good morning. Makita is bringing the luggages down. He's gonna kill me. But we walked by this forno. He was making cornetti fresh, and I, that's the one thing I haven't had yet, so I bought it directly from the forno. <laughs> and it's fresh. We're never gonna get it like this. They sell it in the pastry shop, but I got it right from the oven, so let's eat it and enjoy. This is it, and it's still warm. I can't believe how delicious this is. The smell is incredible. <laughs> He's mad at me. <laughs> So that warm cornetto from the forno made fresh from that sweet man in that little bakery on the side of the alleyway in the Amalfi Coast was incredible. As you can see, Nikita forgave me. And now, as I said, we are leaving Amalfi of the Amalfi Coast, but we are heading for Minori and Maiori. I say them interchangeably because the hotel that I happened to book in Minori has a sister property in Maiori. So we got to take this really fun shuttle back and forth between the places, which was honestly Honestly, ideal because we felt like we really did get the best of both worlds. So as part of the Hotel San Francesco, we are in Villa Isabella in Minori. So we came from Maiori. We have a free shuttle service in between if we ever want to go, which is great. I'm happy to stay here in Minori because there's Pasticceria Saldirizo, where I think we're going to go before we go swimming, but I'll show you the room. So this is our hotel room. It's very nice. There's even an extra bed. Maybe I'll kick Nikita there yeah. if he misbehaves. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. So this is our bed. It looks very comfortable and nice. Washrooms. As you can see, very Italian style. And we have another wonderful view. We're very lucky to be blessed with beautiful views this whole trip. It's been so nice. Here's the beach here. So I think we're just going to swim here. It's actually a nice long stretch. I believe the beach in Maiori is even longer. But we are staying in Minori and for me, this is perfect. Perfect. So Minori is a commune in the province of Salerno in the Campania region of Western Italy. As a part of the Amalfi Coast, it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. And I can see why it's very cute, very quaint, but enough talking, it's now time for breakfast. I saved appetite for this. We're in Pasticceria Salveriso. My sisters, especially Jules, would be very jealous right now. So I'm gonna have breakfast for you guys. So can you tell why I saved my appetite for this breakfast here? I was so excited to have breakfast in Minori and this pasticceria was literally steps away from our hotel. So delicious. So here you can see the breakfast choices that we made. We have the cassata napoletana, so it's a twist on the cassata siciliana. We have the famous delizia limone, which is sal di riso's invention. Then we have this baba misu, which is a tiramisu, sort of like soaked in a baba. It's really delicious and very characteristic of this region. I think my favorite was this delizia limone, however. Amazing. One thing I love about Italy is that I'm down with the Italian breakfast. Give me a pastry and a cappuccino any day and I'm happy. 
then right before we went to the beach, I just did a little bit of shopping. I bought these really cute antique espresso cups. Hello, we are off to the beach. It's literally steps away. This hotel is so centrally located. I mean, I know that it's very small, this town. Hello. Hi. Of Minori. It's quite small, but it's beautifully centrally located. Pasticceria Saldiriso is a one minute walk. I'm leaving my camera, so I'm not gonna be vlogging, but look, you can see it from the window. This is, we'll be somewhere here, hopefully at some kind of beach umbrella place there. I feel like it's a little more expensive on the weekends to rent a bed and an umbrella. As we saw, we were sort of asking around, but I feel like for Nikita and I, we should spend about 20 to 30, I mean 20 to 40 euros in worst case scenario together. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but this is the beach. After the beach, we took advantage of our free shuttle service and we headed back to Mayori for the evening to walk along the beautiful boardwalk and to have dinner. Hello. Good evening. We well, are on the streets of Maori. And how did we get here? Through a, a little ride that we got from this polite gentleman that works at the hotel that we're staying at. Yes, so it's actually quite nice. Yeah. And we're just walking around a bit before dinner. This is like a pure beach town, beach town vibes. Well, both yeah. of them are really beach town vibes, but <laughs> this beach is, I think, one of the longer ones on the Amalfi Coast, if not the longest. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. So it's just a nice summer vibe, summer day. The whole yes. wakeful day. Um, and we're a little toasted, a little tired, and it's a perfect send off for our Amalfi part of the trip. Yeah. Are you proud of me that I swim so much? Yes. <laughs> she went into the water three times for 40 minutes each. Yeah. It's pretty good, pretty a big deal. The water was nice, it was quite warm, actually, probably one of the better waters we've had so far. So. Yeah. So the difference between Minori and Mayori is definitely the fact that Mayori is much larger, Minori is much more smaller and quaint. If you want that real beach experience with just a huge sort of city-like feel, I would recommend Mayori. I was really happy to have the transfers in between because I do feel like we got the best of both worlds and we didn't miss out on anything at all. So I'm so happy we decided to come to Mayori for the evening. It was absolutely spectacular and we loved it here. And this stop of Minori and Mayori was actually mine and Nikita's first time here. So we are eating here at this restaurant and it looks really delicious. I found it online. It looks Cheers, very, love. very hip. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Love you. So? Okay. And we're eating outside because outside is actually cool now and it's a nice atmosphere so it looks really good. But there's an option to eat inside if it's ever too hot which is nice. And we got a few things to taste, so they're known for their bruschetta, they had like a whole page of bruschetta and then they had like a scarpetta, which is just like dishes that are not pasta but that you can sort of like dip sauces in and things like that. So we did a bruschetta, we did two scarpettas and then we're gonna share pasta at the end, so I'm so excited and I'm so hungry. You probably saw me stuff my face with all those pastries but that's all we had all day. So we ate the pastries, did a beach day and now we are ready to go and I have to say that Mayori is a really cool, very beautiful place. Love it. Okay. Mm. Tasty? The smoked mozzarella is so good. Mm. Nikita's in heaven. <laughs> My God, this is squid. This squid is and all potatoes squid. and bread. Uh, so white, we also have the same. Uh, and this is meatballs. But I believe we need to do brought some yes. bread to do this carpet. The signore <laughs> we just had our nice meal. We walked around Mayori. It's lovely here. We had a delicious. I would say my favorite part was the bruschetta. Mm. What about with, you? With the cheese? Oh, it was just um, so good. It was for me. It was, was the squid. Oh. The, the squid soup. Yeah. Yes. Not for her. I was just so okay. hungry. So when it came, it just was, oh, the smoked mozzarella was delicious. But. 
very nice experience, nice time, nice to always dine outside when we can and delicious. Yeah, it's our last night in the Amalfi Coast. Sad, sad. We're going to Rome after. So it's happy, but it's for very short and it's a heat wave in Rome, so we're a little bit scared. But I think we're going to be locked in for a while. We'll Just going see. from a restaurant to a restaurant and eating our, our way through Rome. <laughs> But we had such a good time in the Amalfi Coast, as you could probably have seen already by this point, we've done everything from Sorrento to Amalfi to Ravello, Positano, now Minori Maiori. We even did Atran. So mm -hmm. It was lovely. We're going to go to Salerno tomorrow, out of which we're uh, taking a train all the way to, to Rome. And uh, voila. Voila, and look at this view tonight. Woo. Our last night on the Amalfi Coast. We're both exhausted and acting weird today. <laughs> I'm tired. Is this your trick shot? <laughs> Please. Did you have fun in the Amalfi Coast? <laughs> yes. You call that a Do you want to leave? No. No, I don't. But you taking this video of me makes me want to leave. Okay, but look at the shirt. The great summer tour. More importantly, Woo! look at the shirt. There's not a single stain on it I at know, the that's moment. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Good morning from Minori. So what I like a lot about where we are staying is that we got free transfer service between Minori and Maiori. Otherwise, it's a 21 minute walk or so, I believe. It's super close, but the transfer service helps a lot. So we're staying in Minori. We had our beach day in Minori. Yesterday in Maiori, we walked around the town, had our dinner. It was beautiful. Maiori, as you can imagine, is much bigger and Minori is much smaller. What I like is that the beach is like steps away from our hotel. So we just walked down the stairs and you're at the beach in one minute, so it can't be better. And we are right next door to the Pasticceria Sal di Riso, which I absolutely love. So it's a delicious Pasticceria, highly recommended. I love his panettone, that's how I got into him. And he created the famous desserts of the Amalfi Coast. I believe he created the Delizia Limone, Ricotta Pera, etc. So, so excited. So let's go for breakfast. We are back at Sal di Riso and we're eating outside. We didn't even realize this was a thing, but if you cross the street, you can eat outside as well. So it's so nice. Now we're trying a few more of his famous pastries. So I'll show you in a minute. So of course we are back at Sal di Riso. I had to try the ricotta perra, this panarea, and also this fragolina tart. They were all so delicious. The panarea was this pistachio one, the ricotta pera is ricotta and pear, and the fragolina is wild strawberries. They were superb, and Nikita actually had this cappuccino freddo, and he really loved it. Tasty. Good. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Nikita under an olive tree. <laughs> he loves olives, so there you go. A lot of olive trees line these streets here, which is so nice. In Minori. And this is the little stretch of walkway in Minori, so it's very small compared to Maiori. But it's so quaint and nice, and I think they have the best pastry shop. But we are just remarking how all good things must come to an end, and so does our trip. <laughs> She's sad. Sad. But we have Rome lined up next, so you'll see us there. So stay tuned and follow along with the Amalfi Coast journey and today. <laughs> but next up, Rome. See you there. Watch a the fish. They could just do this. Are you recording? Yes. Look at all the fish come to the surface now. I just don't want them to fight, but... Look at the big one, huh? There's a few really big ones. Holy! <laughs> this is stunning! And I'll show the view where we are. Whoa! <laughs> and that is all for our epic Amalfi Coast journey. From this point on, we took the ferry to the train station in Salerno. 
and we took the train to Rome. That is our next spot, so stay tuned for that stop. But we are going to have a lot of trouble saying goodbye to the Amalfi Coast because it was truly so dreamy, so magical, and so beautiful. Thank you so much for following along with us. But of course, our honeymoon vlog is not over yet because our, I should say, nearly last stop is of course my favorite city probably everyone's favorite city, the eternal city, and that is Roma. So stay tuned for that vlog because it is going to be a short but sweet one.